Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Barry Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to set up RPC S3 on a low end PC. But before we get started this video, please make sure guys you like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Let's get it. In today's video, I'm gonna be showcasing you guys a lot of stuff from best settings, where to get games, how to basically get the best performance on possible, and basically a lot of things and also get the firmware so yeah first things first everything will be in the description down below so as you guys follow along you guys can get the tools you guys need so first we're going to, go to deload aka download and then when we get here we're going to download for windows now it's going to come as a compressed zip file and while I'm um, downloading, I'm gonna make a new file. I mean, new folder called RPCS3. And after that, oh, wait, it's only 18 megabytes to download it, but no RPCS3, the exe itself it's it's a lot more i think it's almost close to a gigabyte i'm not mistaken and then also when it when it finished um completely downloading we're just gonna um get the files and basically drag and drop it and close that what are we doing here it's gonna drag and drop close that up open up rpcs3 open up this the exe now just say you read the quick start so is this agreeing that you read everything all right and then after that we just close out that folder first things first you guys are going to need um, the firmware. We go to the official PlayStation website. They always have the f um, the up to date, the most up to date um, firmware. Alrighty, so after you finish um, installing your firmware, you should go back to your RPCS3 emulator. Now, do keep in mind if this site does not work, you can also try this spot, this site, tech spot, which they also have the most up to date. PS3 firmware. So if this site doesn't work, try this site. And as you do that, go to file, install firmware. Now, for you to um, find the PUP file, go under here on PS3 update file. You can click all files or the PUP. You're gonna find it, open it up. This is basically gonna install it, the latest firmware. And then you press press, don't show it again. And it's gonna install something else, the, the modules, the PP, the PPU. This is gonna take quite a while, so basically be patient with this as you go along. All right, after that's completed, next thing you're going to do is try to um, set up your your controller. How you do that is go to pads and the RPC S3 emulator. And if you're using Windows 10, it should be PS3, PS4, PS5 controllers, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, Xbox 360. I'm not too sure about Nintendo controllers from the Pro Controller. All from the joy cons i don't know i don't know if um reads it i highly doubt it does but last time i checked it doesn't so we go to keyboard go to uh, go to handlers the x i put that's for um xbox i actually don't have ps5 yet because that's all the way to ps4 so my fault on that x i input so that's for xbox and you when you see this in the bottom screen that means it's uh, compatible you can mess around with the settings to see um, what you want to change 
from the D-pad up, reads it. After that, you save it. And another thing I like to do is see if I can change the UI settings. Oh, it was probably already in the beginning. All right, so the CPU settings, uh, my suggesting is use um, interpreter inter fast. <laughs> I can't speak too well right now. The GPU, always set it to Vulkan and use your NVIDIA um, graphics card. Audio is good at default. Mm. The IO default is good. Um, system, everything on default is, is good. I believe this is for online play, so you guys don't need to worry about that right now. Um, advanced tab, this is for like certain games. Like since um, the PlayStation 3 is such a powerful system, when you need to play certain games like Metal Gear, Gear Solid, or The Last of Us, or anything like that, like those type of games are really demanding and really graphical, like um, games that are really graphical, powerful. You need some, you're gonna mess around with these settings, but that's for a separate video that I'm gonna uh, make because you gotta, I have to really go in detail for you guys to understand how to basically work in these settings. And also you gotta go in to your own PC settings to unlock something within. It's, it's really complicated. So <laughs> it'll be its own videos itself for me to explain how to do that. Now this default is left, is good. And I believe this is where you can change the, the UI. Since I don't like the color too much, we make it dark. I'm gonna try to see apply if I like it. Okay, this is okay. Apply, and then you save to it. Well, not bad. All right, so after you got um, your, your configuration set up and also your pad set up, Next thing you guys is you guys gonna need the game. Um, also, I need to make a disclaimer before I show anything of this. Only do this if you guys have the digital copy or hard copy of any game you're trying to emulate on the RPCS3 emulator from either can dump it or get it somewhere else. So this is my disclaimer. Um, only do this if you have the digital copy or hard copy due to the fact that when you're emulating games, is you're emulating games that you already own that's on a PC. So I have every right to showcase this. This is for through the fair use guidelines that I'm allowed to show this. So yeah, that's basically it. Alrighty, so I'm gonna have to blur it out a little tiny bit due to the fact that I'm not trying to get a community guideline strike or get this video age restricted because for some reason when the YouTube algorithm bought um, read certain sites and love to do that. So I'm gonna blur it out a little bit. Alrighty, so in this site, you get all the PS3 games. Go right here, I'll click on the top one that says PS3. And you're basically getting every PS3 file that's ever, ISO that's ever made. So to make this video a little bit much more fast, I'm just gonna get Just Dance, just because to Basically, get it. And then, how you do that, how you read the site, you're gonna click on the plus sign on the download link. You can get through Zippy or one file. Now, how the site set up, um, when you click on on something, it may have more, the games might be um, broken down into many parts. Like, say, for example, you're trying to get a Last of Us, and you click on something, and then you get three gigabytes. You have 30 parts, and each of them is like three gigabytes. You basically just download them one at a time and then you make your own separate folder and then you're going to apply it all to, together with WinWar and then that's how you get like a game that's like 30 or 40 gigabytes because games like those, you have to basically get them piece by piece and then um, compress them all together and then it becomes one ISO file and then you can run on your RPC S3 emulator. Uh, I showcased this before in my past videos with Metal Gear Solid and also The Last of Us. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave in the description down below. It's a real, very detailed um, way on how to get um, 
games are like 40 or 50 gigabytes for the rpcs3 emulator so yeah or maybe you can or if you don't feel like going to the link on the description down below you guys can also type in my name rpcs3 emulator on the last of us and then i sh you're going to see the guide i showcase you guys how to do that all right so after that click on one of flincher go to deload all right after that let's finish with downloading we're going to open this up and then after you do that you drag and drop the file onto your desktop or wherever you like then you close that up close this and then as you see what i did right here i just drag and dropped it onto the rpc s3 emulator and then after that before you boot up anything you want to mess around with the nvidia control panels and how you do that you left click go to nvidia control panel go with it a little bit set configuration after you pick your um your graphics card adjust image settings use your prefer your preference you're gonna choose performance over quality if they're gonna manage to do these settings high performance processor you make sure you guys have the same exact settings as me if not you can guys pause the video basically get the same settings as me if you like and program settings First thing I'm gonna add Browse desktop and go to RPCS3. Look for the EXE. Open that up. You use high perf high um, performance Nvidia processor. And as you go down, make sure you guys copy the same settings as what I have if not you guys can pause the video get the same exact thing after that you apply it and you close it and you basically all set and good to go to boot up the game on RPC S3 emulator so that's basically about it I showcase you guys how to get the best settings for a low end PC, um, mess with the NVIDIA control panels, show you guys how to set up the controller, uh, get the firmware, show you guys where to find games, and basically how to play any game on the RPC S3 emulator. So that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video or find this video any helpful at all, feel free to leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Birdsong. See you guys in the next video. Peace.